Uh, Killian, uh, again, reading about the film and reading about you, uh, Sunshine, the film Sunshine, was a, a film that had kind of metaphysical aspects to it as well. And you said working on that film was uh, a, a revelation for you. It brought, it brought a greater understanding of your grappling with atheism and, and a belief about something beyond mm -hmm. the physical. Um, did this film contribute that, to that conversation at all? I guess there's a sort of thematic crossover occasionally uh, between the two films. Um, no, my positions have remained the same since that, and uh, you know, I am uh, my yeah. This this movie hasn't changed that in any way. I mean, you know, we have to be as actors just open and blank canvases, and just not uh, transpose our beliefs or lack of them or morals or whatever on a character. So uh, I wouldn't, you know, I don't think it's it's relevant in one way. But it's interesting, I suppose. Uh, yeah, for me, I, I guess the question is more, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm not an actor. But, you know, the understanding it's on the page. Mm -hmm. And you, you interpret what's on the page and you make it work. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's part art, part technique, part, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things going. But then as you walk away from the project, obviously yeah. you think about it, you know, you must have. And, and that was my impression with Sunshine, that it, was, that it opened up a, a, at least an internal conversation with it you. It did, and, 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 and it was a sort of a powerful time for me, but it, you know, and, and nothing has changed since then, if that's the question. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, maybe that was a little pry, you know. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. cool. Yeah. it's cool. I, I talked about it publicly, so you know, it's not right. as if. Does anybody want the water? Uh, sure. Right. This is a, a a a film that is so carefully balanced because we don't want to give anything away, but there are unforeseen things that can happen in a film where you're dealing with the paranormal and people dealing with. Uh, um, you know, skepticism and that sort of thing. It, 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 of course, makes sense that there are things that happen that the audience can't see coming. But tell me a little bit about finding the structure for a film like this. So uh, I, I would imagine that it's a giant jigsaw puzzle <laughs> as you're putting this together. And uh, you, you can't give too much away. You can't give too little away. Otherwise, the audience feels like they've been cheated. So it's, it's a game, I guess, to try and figure out how to balance it all. Yeah, on one hand, you, you have to play in a very particular way with the structure. First, because we are trying to do things through it. For instance, I designed the film as if it was a magic trick with the faces, or with the stages of a magic trick. So at the beginning, you feel comfortable when you see the magician moving his hands, so you perfectly know what's happening, you know where the card is. But then little by little, things become uh, harder and you don't know exactly where he put the ball. So you look closer and from that moment on, you start to not to trust him uh, until you have the final revelation of the gym magic trick and we see the whatever the the rabbit family, coming out. Yeah. So you have to design things this way. Then it's also based in ambivalence and duality. So that's why the film is divided in two very different halves. In the first one, you are uh, very comfortable with what you are seeing because you are taught that this kind of phenomena cannot exist. And every time you have a question, there's your mother there to answer it. But something happens, and we all become orphans. We look around, there's nobody there. And we enter much more subjective territories. And in the third place, you cannot use uh, conventional structures. Because if you do that, the, the audience is going to use their unconscious templates that will allow them to anticipate certain things, because you are feeling you are using a very conventional and used patterns. So you have to mess with that also. So there is a rational work at the beginning in order to organize all this puzzle, uh, puzzle. And once you have it, then you forget about the rational and you just try to get moments of truth. Is that the, the, the complex nature of not only the character but the, the, the film itself, the, the actual physical film itself, is that the kind of thing that you look for when you're looking at scripts? You must get a ton of everything sent your way. Uh, and what is it that would draw you specifically to something like that? Is, is it the complexity of it? Um, I, I do enjoy going to see those films in the cinema. I, I enjoy films that are, you know, uh, intelligent, I suppose, uh, and, or don't... Or, presuppose that the audience is intelligent uh, in, is probably a better way of putting it but uh, no I have no plan or strategy I just whatever script comes in if it's good right. great if it's not good 
and I don't do it. Um, and that's pretty much how I've tried to operate um, and to try and not repeat myself and to try and be, you know, I'd always to, to be a challenge. It's funny, I, uh, in Canada is a much smaller film market than for actors, and you know, we just don't make as many films here as they do you know, in other parts of the world. And I, uh, I remember asking, there's an actor named Colin Fiore, a famous Canadian actor, and I said, so how do you choose the projects that you uh, take? And he goes, I don't choose my projects. <laughs> he said, I work. I try and work. And maybe, you know, I, I think as outsiders to it, maybe we see, we, we look in... We, 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 we try and put too much meaning into the idea. We look at your films and try and piece them together and say, oh, there's a line there. Yeah. I can see what's going on. But it, I guess it doesn't work that way. It's random. It? And I've had a lot of questions regarding sort of a thread between various roles or various types of films, but it's entirely random. Yeah. Totally. Like, I wish, you know, I guess that's for other people to, to yeah. make those calls. But I, I've, equally, I've never met any actor who's ever had a strategy or a plan or is going right then. But, you know, in five years' time, I'm going to have done this, 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 and worked with this guy. And this. You can't do it. It doesn't work that way. No. Yeah. Well,